talking back and forth. She's like, I'm talking to you. And I was like, no, you're not. When the nigga pull up on me, tell the nigga bad back. Don't you know all of these niggas wish to think of bad I'm just. I'm going to be doing another story time because y'all love my story times and I got stories to tell. So I'm going to tell y'all my stories and I'm going to give y'all the receipts, the, the tea, the juice, the sauce. Everything, so y'all know I'm back with another banger. I'm probably gonna start saying that in my videos because my videos be bangers, and if y'all don't think they are banger, then you're a hater, okay? Period. So today I'm gonna be telling y'all the story time about how I had to I had to do this I had to do this white girl dirty because she called me a nigga. I threw a chair. I'm about to tell y'all the tea. So before I start this video, I just wanna say thank y'all for all the support, the love. That y'all showing me because it's a lot. It's a, it's really a lot. So I appreciate all the support and all the love that y'all showing me. And I really like, I really love y'all. I really love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Just thought, I'm not saying that. I love all my subscribers. And if you're a real life subscriber, I love you. I just love you. Okay. So let me start the video. So this was my freshman year, and it was like the end of the year too. Like we was testing, and yeah. So. My teacher wasn't there, and we had a substitute, right? So, the girl had came in late. So, they, she was sitting by the door. I mean, I was sitting by the door, right? And I didn't feel like getting up to open the door. And if I don't want to get up and open the door, I'm not going to get up and open the door. Period. So, this girl had got up, and she had opened the door. Because she was knocking on the door, but I didn't feel like getting up and open the door. Cause I'm not going to do it, right? So, she came in. She had an attitude. She didn't have an attitude with me. She just had, like, an attitude in general, right? So, she went over there and sat down, right? Like I said, the teacher wasn't there. So, you know, everybody everybody be acting up. Like, when you ain't got no substitute, everybody be, you know, don't be listening and stuff like that. So, I was talking to my friend and stuff like that. And so, the girl starts throwing pencils, right? I'm like, what the fuck? And then she threw one. She ain't, it ain't hit me. The first one, the first couple she threw, it ain't hit me, right? It hit this girl. And the girl was like, yo, why you throwing pencils? Da, 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 and this and that. And the third and she started arguing with the girl, like, you already done came in the room salty. Why are you trying to start stuff? And why are you throwing pencils? Who the fuck is in high school and throws pencils? What? Pencils. Who the fuck does that? Why are you throwing pencils in high school? What? Okay, so she had an attitude with her, right? And so they started arguing, but it wasn't a major one, no major argument. So the girl threw a motherfucking pencil over, like, she was sitting on that side of the room, and I was sitting on this side. So she threw a pistol all the way over here, and I'm like, baby. So I, so I said to calm me. I ain't even go off of her. I should have, cause bitch, why are you throwing pistols? But anyway, I said to calm me. I was like, girl, why are you throwing pistols over here? Cause that pistol about to hit me. You know you don't want the pistol to hit me. That's what I said. I ain't say it rudely, but I'll say it clear enough for her to hear me. Like, girl, don't throw pistols over here, cause who does that? That's childish. Okay. So. She, so she basically got an attitude with me, and I'm like, girl, I'm not the one you want to get an attitude with. I promise you I'm not. Like, baby girl, don't get no attitude with me, because I ain't even getting no attitude with me. So I'm like, okay, but who are you talking to like that, you know? Like, we start arguing back and forth. She's like, I'm talking to you. And I was like, no, you're not. And then, before that, I know, and then after that, I was like, okay, you got it. I ain't about to argue with you. So she, so she throw a pistol again this bitch. Baby girl, still throwing pistols. So she throw a pistol, and then hit this girl that sit beside me. And I'm like, bro, why are you throwing pistols? And it just hit her on top of her head. And this is when we started arguing, arguing. I'm like, you're dumb. Why are you throwing pistols? Who the fuck is in high school and throws fucking pistols across the room? You're acting like a fucking child. You need to get the fuck out before I beat your ass. Basically, kind of what I said. And then she started going off on me. Some, some, da 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 this and the third. And y'all, while we arguing, also, I was like, get the fuck out before I beat your ass and stuff like that. And on the, in the clip, y'all can see it, but I said, jump out the window, bitch. Like, fucking leave, because she need to leave, because I was really about to suck a punch her. My fucking, my friend, she was standing right here. You can see her in the video. She was holding my hand back, because I, oh, I promise you, she ain't had my hand. I would have just right hooked her. My right. So, she arguing, and then when she was walking, she was walking, like, around and leave the classroom. She called me a fucking nigger. Like, not even, not even a nigga, like, nigga, like, what? So, y'all, I'll tell y'all, I picked up this chair so fast, I don't know what came over me. <sighs> fucking, fucking, something, something told me, it said, pick up this chair and throw that shit at her. That's what it said, it said, pick up this goddamn chair and throw that bitch across the room. <laughs> well, I tell y'all, 
I went up to her, I picked up that chair so quick, and I didn't even throw it across the room. I ran because I wanted that chair to hit her. So I got right up in her face, and I hit her. But I kind of missed because somebody was standing right there, and I didn't hit her, and I didn't want to hit them. But the leg, like, y'all know how y'all sit down in the chairs, and the legs of the chairs, right? But the leg hit her, and the leg hit her hard, so... And then I'm over here like, oh, yeah, I'm about to be this bitch ass. So I take her head, and I'm hitting her, and then I slam my head on the table. Like, because you're not about to play me like that. I don't even be trying to start stuff, and I don't I don't condone violence. I don't condone violence, but you don't never, don't never let nobody disrespect you. Point blank, period. And especially if you can get your hands on them. Like, all that little internet shit, don't go back and forth over the internet either, because... You gotta, you gotta like learn. Some stuff not ain't worth being said over the internet. Some people just ignorant. So you gotta learn like to let stuff go. So let me give us the story. I slid my head on that table, y'all. When I tell y'all, I, I was scared for my life because she did not get up after I slammed my head. After I slammed her head on that table, she hit the, she hit a chair too, but she didn't hit it hard. She hit the chair and then she fell on the ground. And when y'all, I tell y'all, on the ground for a good, for a good, a hot minute, I said, oh no, I gotta leave, I gotta go, I gotta, I gotta do the dash and run. So I got my shit, and the lady was like, and the lady was like, look, telling me, she was like, oh yeah, you gotta go. So I got my, I walked out, but I walked out calm, but I was scared deep down, but I didn't want nobody to know I was scared. So I walked out, and I had got my stuff, and I come home, I was like, mama, this is and I was texting, I was like, mama, this girl, uh, call me a nigga, da 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 And after that, I was like, mom, you see my messages, this girl call me a nigga. I got in trouble, they about to suspend me, this and that and the third. So, I go to the office. No, I'm going down the stairs, because the building I was in, it had stairs. So, I'm going down the stairs, and it's like people coming up the stairs, like uh, administrators, uh, you know, police, stuff like that. So... The lady come up the stairs. She, it was one lady. She came up and she walked right past me because I guess she didn't think it was me. And then the other lady was like, were you the girl that just got sent out of room, this and that and the third? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, yeah, come with me. So I was like, you know what? I'm caught. Might as well go. So she takes me to the office, right? And this is when they take the uh, white girl and they put her in the office beside me. So I was in this office and she was in this office. And I could hear her, too. She was like, she hit me. She attacked me. Da -da 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 -da. baby girl you shouldn't have said what you said like why are you talking shit why are you calling me out my name why are you you're not allowed to say that word what fuck out of here so she was like she didn't tap me da -da -da -da. my head hurt so bad da -da -da -da. this and the third and the person that like you know the person she was talking to she came in there she was talking to me i was like she called me a nigger she didn't say what she said oh well and it and it happened so she was like, um, so she was like, oh, you know that girl gotta go to the hospital, right? I'm like, oh well, cause I really didn't care, cause you don't ever, don't ever do that. And if you, and if you white and you're watching this, don't ever do that. Don't ever say that word. Just don't say it, cause that's so disrespectful. Don't say that word. And don't disrespect nobody. She said she had to go to the hospital, and I was like, okay, I really don't care. Like, I honestly did not care if that girl went to the hospital. So... So I had come mama, like I said, she was already on her way to the school. So my mama had came, and they was like, you know, your daughter uh, slammed this girl head on the table, threw a chair. That's an that's an assault charge. I'm like, when she said charge, I said a charge, baby girl, baby girl, a charge. I don't need a charge. Someone was like, oh, well they better not charge her with that, cause she called her a nigga. That's a racial. It's a she's it's a racial slur slur it's when she called me the n-word nigger i think i could say nigger so i was saying it the whole time so and the officer was like yeah yes yes ma'am you know calm down because i wish you would talk to me in the kind of way i don't play with my mama period so that happened and they suspended me they suspended me for a week so a whole week of school a whole week of school in like three days they suspended me for a long time like a week of school in three days. I think that's how long I was suspended. Because I guess it was putting her in the hospital. I don't know. But it suspended me way long. That I was supposed to be suspended. Like, that was so dumb to me. Like, why y'all... I, I understand, but, like, why y'all suspend me for so long? You know people was... You know people happy be hyping it up. Why you do her like that? This and the third. Okay. It's over. I don't really care no more. So, I had went back to school, and we still... Well, we was going to have the same class, 
But I had gone to school and everybody was like, oh, you know the white girl and came back. She not. She said she wasn't coming back. She transferred to schools, this, that, and the third. And I was like, what that got to do with me? I don't care. So the white girl left my school and she ain't never, you know, came back to my school. And... Yeah, that's basically the end of the video. I mean, not the end of the video. That's basically the end. That's basically the end of the story time. And I'm gonna put the clip in. Right. My nigga. My nigga. My nigga. purple purple jacket on with my hair down that's me so yeah i want to say i don't condone violence but i don't condone letting nobody punk you either or disrespect you so never let nobody disrespect you always stick up for yourself those are my words to y'all words of wisdom from kaya you're welcome. I want to say thank y'all for watching my video. That's basically the end of the story time. So yeah, thank y'all for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to be really consistent. Like at least two videos every week. Maybe three. Just depends. How I'm feeling. For watching this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to say thank y'all for all the support again. Really, 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 really appreciate the support. I really do. And thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. When that nigga pull up on me, tell that nigga, baby, don't you know all of it?